as a wing generates a wind that goes out of wheel just far away. Rick, you're seeing a, a beautiful Lockheed U-2 from Beale Air Force Base, 104 foot wingspan, about 65 feet long, one engine on there, let's listen to it. He's got that thing dialed pretty far back, he's gonna make a little bit of noise, uh, maybe a little bit later today. I'm sure he will, and he can, deceivingly quiet right now. So a lot of people think the U-2 is a really old aircraft, not so, the uh, aircraft you see flying before you and the one that we have on the ramp today, both built in the mid-1980s, the later built, the, uh, they built a total of 104 of them over history, but this was uh, part of the last, uh, the last build of aircraft, and we have 31 aircraft uh, in the inventory still, two of which are at NASA. <laughs> We're going to listen in as Jen talks. Walk us through that in just a moment. Huggy, as the crew chief was explaining things. Rick, those pods you see in the aircraft, those are not fuel pods, those are equipment pods. They carry a, a wide variety of classified sensors on the aircraft. You'll see the little on the, uh, half, right behind the wing, that clamshell speed brake that's opened up back there. He's putting drag out there to give him a little bit better throttle response as he maneuvers the aircraft back around. And you see that main gear now, and I think someone once described this. Kelly Johnson had designed a 30,000 pound bicycle. It's just uh, these little wheels, and that's again why Jen is so important in this as the other pilot to make sure he stays on the center line so it doesn't dip down, I guess, and uh, and uh, describe how it lands because it, it lands pretty heavy if, if he gets it or she gets it wrong. It's not good at all, is it? No, it's exactly right, Rick. But so right now in the pattern, he's flying only about 90 knots, about what you'd be flying if you were in a, in a Cessna 182, something like that. So trucking along real slow. Uh, but his workload is pretty good right now, getting the drag out, getting the flaps out, ensuring the gear is down. There's a few other items he'll check. And when he comes around the corner, turning onto the, uh, onto the runway, he'll, he'll maintain 90, 90 knots, about, about 100 miles an hour. And uh, he'll slow it down about 75, 80 miles an hour on final approach, touching down in the 70 mile an hour range. But his goal is to get it to one to two feet off the ground and hold it there until the plane is done flying. The wing quits flying, it stalls. If you try to land it fast, it's just going to boing right back up in the air and it's not going to land. As soon as it comes back up into the sky, it can stall out higher up and we'll listen to, uh, we'll listen to Jen again as the chase goes. Uh -huh. Eight. Six. 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 Seven. Four. Three. Two. Looking good. Two. Two. One. He even got a very nice from Jen on that, so good landing, good good landing by demo. He's gonna truck along there in idle, get the flaps brought in. He's balancing that wing the whole time. There's no outrigger wheels to keep the wing up, so he's just balancing it using his aileron inputs. That's right. Now with Demo, who's flying the airplane right now, what he's thinking about is, all right, he's coming through about 100 feet right now, and what we think mentally is fights on, fights on. It's time to wrestle the dragon. Complete focus right now. And let's hear if we can hear the communications. One. Real nice. Real 
Thank you. Welcome back to the California Capital Air Show. That other voice you heard was uh, was our air boss, Ralph Royce, who's very excited about the landing as well. <laughs> Meanwhile, Ken Peach has dropped in. And Gucci, thank you so much. Everybody over at Beale. And how about that, ladies and gentlemen? Give a wave to our pilots. And, and I do mean the pilots in the cars, too, because they are as, uh, as the uh, airplane taxis by. Amazing, amazing stuff.